the class. In this video, we are going to continue the discussion on the Zhang Fu organs. Firstly, we will need to clarify the relationship among axons qi, yin yang, and the zhang organs. The axons of the zhang organs refer to the liquid axons stored in the zhang organs, which is the most fun fundamental systems that constitute the human body and maintain its life activities. The function of the zhang of, of the axons of zhang organs nourishing and supporting zhang organs and relate and nourishing and supporting the related full organs and other parts of the physical body related parts of the physical body then the question here is what's the difference between the axons of the zhang organs and the axons that we have discussed previously the axons of the body What's the difference between the axons of zhang organs and the axons of the human body? According to the definition, the axons of the zhang organs they store, they were stored in the five zhang organs. They, they are fun, fundamental substances that's also similar to the axons of the body. The function nourishing and supporting the zhang organs nourishing and supporting the specific zhang organs for example when we talk about the axons of the heart or when we talk about the axons of the the lung or kidney we talk about the axons that specifically nourishing and supporting the heart or the kidney so nourishing and supporting the zhang the specific zhang organs and related full organs the heart is related to the small intestine. The blood, the urinary bladder is related to the kidney. So the zhang organs also can support the relative full organ as well as the related parts of the physical body. So when we talk about the axons of the five zhang organs, we actually talk about the heart axons, the lung axons, the kidney axons, the liver axons and the spleen axons. These axons include innate axons and acquired axons. Some translation they will use congenital axons. I personally I prefer innate, although it still might be not accurate. So if you can find a better word to describe to replace innate, please please just let me know. The reason why I don't want to use congenital is because the congenital refers to something existing since or before birth. That's very similar to innate. However, from the, the preterm, the, the prefix of the congenital is of a disease or medical conditions. As here, when we talk about the innate essence, we talk about the, the physiological essence. So the congenital might not be accurate, so we use innate. Innate essence means the essence from your parents. Acquired essence, that's essence from the food. So this is the, the origin of these essence are very similar, or it's actually exactly the same as the essence of the body. So then let's go back to the question, what's the relationship of the essence of five zhang organs? And axons of the body, the axons that we have talked about the axons in Chinese medicine. What's the relationship? These axons are actually the same axons. The only the only reason that we call the heart axons, the lung axons, or the liver axons is because these axons when they stored in the heart, we call them the heart axons. When we when the essence is stored in the lung, we call it the lung essence. This is very similar. For example, when I were when I am lecturing here, I am a lecturer. When I go back to my office with my colleagues, I am a staff. When I see patients in the 
clinic, I am a doctor. So I got different titles. However, there's only one of me. The same, the same, the same person have different titles. Same as the actions here. When the actions, when we refer to the function of, of constitutes the human body and maintain the life activities as a whole, we refer to the actions of the body. When we talk about the continue the human, the heart, maintain the heart function, the heart activities, we call the actions of the heart. When we call, we talk about continue the kidney, maintain the kidney activities, we call the actions of the kidney. So we need to clarify. We need to clarify clearly the the boundary of the actions different terms of the essence. The qi of five zhang organs refers to the extremely fine invisible systems with strong vitality and continuous movements in the zhang organs. This is very similar to the axons. The qi, as you can see from the definition, that's very similar to the qi that we have introduced. The only difference is the, the area, the location where the qi takes place in the five zhang organs. The source qi transformed from the five zhang organs axons and the breathing. So the axons can transform into the axons of the zhang of the five zhang organs can transform into qi. And qi also can be supplied from the breathing, the air. So qi has two so sources, the yin and yang of the five zhang organs. The yin of the five zhang organs refer to the cool, static, expressive parts of the qi of the five zhang organs. And the yang refers to the warm, active parts of the qi of the five zhang organs. So when we talk about the qi of the five zhang organs, there are two different parts. One has the function of cooling, static, and expressive. The other one is warming and active. For example, when we talk about the heart, the heart qi, we can separate, we can further separate the heart qi into heart yin or heart yang. The heart yang has the function to promote the blood circulation, to pound the blood, to pound the heart, to maintain the warming function, to maintain the heartbeat. However, this function needs to be accompanied by the heart in, which is to cool, to suppress the activity, otherwise it's going to be overactive. So we need the heart in to limit the blood movement, the blood circulation within the blood vessels. So from this point of view, it's still we say the axons transformed into qi. The qi have be further divided into yin and yang. Yin and yang and then the activities are the combination of the yin and yang. When we talk about the yin and yang, we talk about the qi. The qi is from axons and breathing. So these are the relationship among the qi, yin and yang, and the five elements. So if we understand the relationship of the, all these different terms in future, when we see patients, when we analyze the conditions, we will always think about the yin and yang of the organs. Patients suffer from heart deficiency or kidney deficiency. Is it kidney yang deficiency or kidney yin deficiency? Now so you need to find the evidence from this aspect. Is it the warming function, dysfunction? The patient have the cold sensation of the yang deficiency deficiency. So the yang, the zhang, the yang organs, the yang qi of the zhang organs has the function of warming. 
if the yang deficiency the patient will have cold sensation or not active for example for kidney deficiency kidney yang deficiency the patient may feel cold sensation in the hands and feet or in the cold sensation in, in low low back or active parts it also can relate to the activities of of the kidney function more specifically it can relate it to the male or female problems and again for the similar to the kidney deficiency for example the infertilities when we treat the infertilities we need to identify is it the kidney yang or kidney yin then our treatments will focus on yin or yang so these two are very different so we need to identify clearly the yin and yang of the zhang fu or of the zhang organs we didn't mention the fu organs is because our theory we based on zhang organs when we talk about zhang organs the fu organs will affiliated to the zhang, to the related zhang organs there was once that i see patients in the clinic the lady came to me for the lower back pain and during the consultation i said that she need to avoid some ice cold food and or some raw food as she might suffer from the painful menstruation poor appetite or loose stool because her tongue is pale and then the lady was surprised she said how do how did i know because she came to me for lower back pain one of the reasons for the lower back pain is the cold condition in the body and then when i see the tongue and the, feel the pulse i realized that, that this patient may suffer from other symptoms as well and this lady confirmed that she did suffer from painful menstruation so how do we know all these different symptoms that's even not purpose of the patient come to you also the relationship among the low back pain the poor diet and the painful menstruation here's, an, here's another case a patient suffer from palpitation chest pain irritation depression irregular menstruation is menorrhea the patient presents with all these symptoms how do we analyze is there any relationship among these symptoms so in order to answer this question we need to discuss the function of the the organs the five zhang organs and the fu organs zhang organs there are two main functions of the zhang organs to generate and store the axons also to regulate the thoughts and emotions from the other textbook sometimes you also can see to regulate the spirit in future when we study the spirit we're going to clarify the definition of the spirit in chinese medicine we we use the thoughts and emotions here or you can use the mind because the zhang organs may need to generate and store atoms without discharging without draining off so the diseases of the zhang organs are more likely to be deficiency this is the opposite to the fu organs the fu organs the diseases of fu organs is more like are more likely to be fullness The first zhang organ that we are going to introduce is the heart. The heart located in the chest above the diaphragm and is enveloped by the pericardium. When you see the location, you will understand that when we talk about the organs, the heart, we actually refer to the heart in the anatomy. So the heart in Chinese medicine, the physical heart in Chinese medicine, is exactly the same as the one in anatomy. However, the function of the heart includes 
includes different functions from the conventional medicine. The, meri the meridian, the heart meridian connects with the small intestine. The heart opens in the, on the tongue. But for instance, if a patient suffers from the heart problem, such as the heart fire, excess heat in the heart, the patient may present with problem on the tongue. On the other hand, if we see a patient present with problem on the tongue, we may conclude that this patient may suffer from the heart problem. The heart also houses the mind. This is very special in Chinese medicine. The heart is also considered as the, the emperor or the, em, the emperor organ, which means the heart is very important in the zhang organs. The heart is in, charge, in charge of everything, all other organs. The five zhang organ systems is centered by the heart. The heart has two functions in the physiology. The heart governs the blood and vessels, and the heart houses the mind. The mind sometimes is translated as the spirit. The heart governs the blood includes two aspects, which are creating the blood and promoting the blood circulation. So governs the blood including two including two aspects. When we said that the heart creates the blood. In Huang Di Nei Jing, it described that the middle jiao received the qi. This qi is from the food and the water. So this is a, the acquired qi. The middle jiao received the qi. The qi is transported to the heart. The heart transforms the qi into red color. Then the red color qi we call the blood. So from this, this statement, you will understand that where does the blood come from? Blood is, in order to have the red color, the qi, in order to change into the red color, we call the blood, we need the heart function. So from this perspective, in future, when you see a patient with blood deficiency, for example, the patient presents with pale facial complexion, pale tongue, dizziness, when you diagnose the patient as the blood deficiency, you can tonify the liver or other organs. You, you still need to think about the heart because the heart governs the blood. The heart can create the blood. Although the, the formation of the blood is the result of the all, all organs, the functions of all organs, the heart is very important in in the creation of the blood. The second meaning of the heart governs the blood is promoting the blood circulation. Blood is something we can see, it's physical, it's a material. So the blood is in in terms of, in terms of yin and yang. In order to have a good circulation or even the normal circulation, we need the heart function. To promote the blood circulation. This function will rely on the heart, the function of the heart qi. The heart qi. We can further divide it into heart yin and yang. Heart yin, we can you can think about that the heart yin is the physical blood that you can see. However, this blood will stay still if there's no heart yang. So the circulation of the blood is the result of the heart qi, the result of the combination of heart yin and heart yang. If there's no, if there's not enough heart yang, the patient will present with poor circulation. The heart, this heart yin, the patient may present with bleeding because the patient will have excess yang or excess heat. This is very similar when you see from this image in a space. When, there, when there's no gravity, the water will stay around the tower. The water will move. 
the water is in the physical, the material, the physical water is in the gravity, we, something we cannot see, the is yang. So on Earth, nowadays when you wash the, the tower, you can see the, the water will move. The moving of the water is the result of the gravity. If there's no gravity, the water will stay still, similarly to, to the circulation of the blood. If we don't have enough heart yang, the patient will present with blood stasis, the slow movement, the slow flow of the blood. So we need a heart yang. So a good circulation, to promote the circulation, we need enough heart yang. We need a function of heart yang and in the balance between the heart yang and heart yin. If there is no enough heart yang, the, the circulation will be slow, so that causes blood stasis. If there is no enough heart in, the patient may present with relatively excess heart yang. In this situation, the patient may present with bleeding or deficiency heat. Blood, the heart also governs the vessels. From this point of view, in Chinese medicine, we agree that the heart controls and promotes the blood circulation. And when it governs the vessels, the heart in charge of the circulation of the blood, where, the blood, where does the blood move? That's in the vessels. So the circulation, the promoting circulation, relies on the good circulation of the vessels and these functions including the the heart beats will rely on the heart qi so although the heart governs the blood and vessels these functions will rely on the heart qi the first function the heart governs the blood and vessels governs the blood includes two Creating the blood, promoting the blood circulation, governs the vessels, make sure that the, the vessel is smooth, smooth enough for the blood to flow. How do we define the vessels in Huang Di Nei Jing? It describes that the vessels is the, the tissue or a kind of qi that limits the blood in certain area. So this kind of qi we call the vessels. As you can see here, we define the tissues, different tissues from the different kinds of qi. So in future, when you see a patient suffer from diseases with the vessels, you also can think about the heart, the function of the heart. So don't forget the function of the Think about the function of a heart, also think about the heart qi, heart yin and yang. When you think, think about the blood circulation, you need to always always think about the heart qi, the volume of the blood, also from the, the heart function, because the heart can create the blood. So the heart qi, the volume of the blood, the condition of the vessels, that's the foundation of the good, good blood circulation. Therefore, in Huang Di Nei Jing, it, spec it specifies that the heart is in charge of the blood and the vessels all over the body. In the next video, we are going to discuss the other function of the heart, heart in the mind. Thank you for your attention.